Hey everyone, this is Char of Yellow Yum and today I will be featuring the It's Judy Time palette from BH Cosmetics. As always, before putting on makeup, I prime my face. I'm trying this one out from Essence. And the foundation that I'm using is Revlon Nearly Naked in Vanilla and I use my Beauty Blender to apply it. For my concealer, I'm trying out Maybelline's Pure Concealer Minerals in number 1. I just recently got this and someone said that this is her favorite, so I have high expectations for this. We'll see how it goes. For powder, I'm using Glam Box's High Definition Finishing Powder. It is in loose form, so I put some on the lid and swirled my brush to pick up the product. This is from the makers of Glam Box Airbrush, and it's completely matte and it's very finely milled. It actually feels amazing on the skin, and it's great for retouches too. On to the brows, I'm using K Palette Real Lasting Eyebrow. First is outlining and filling the brows with the liquid part of the product. Then I use the powder part to finish the look, especially the front part of your brows. And as you've probably seen in my favorites video, I use my K Palette Eyebrow Mascara to lighten my brows. I've already primed my eyes, so I'm moving to NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk as base. Since I'll be doing a colored eye, I wanted to use white as base to make the colors look more vibrant. So here I'm just blending the product on with my fingers just to warm up the product and to make it really nice and smooth. So I'm picking up the It's Judy Time palette and I'm using this beautiful shimmery lavender as the main color. I'm packing it on the center of my lids, slightly moving it up towards the crease. I'm taking a blending brush in this transition shade and I work it on my crease, blending the edges of the previous shadow. I'm using these two shades of darker warm brown to define the crease more. And just blend everything so it's nice and smooth. I'm going back to the main color just to intensify it a little more. So just packing it on. And now I proceed to highlighting. I'm using this highlight shade on the brow bone and just blending it nice. And I'm using it also on the tear duct area. As always, blend, blend, blend. For eyeliner, I'm using K Palette's One Day Magic Eyeliner. And it's very, very black. I really like using this because it has a flat tip as compared to the usual eyeliners. I'm just winging it on the side and filling all the gaps. For the lower lash line, I'm taking this royal blue color, such a beautiful eye popping shade, and I'm placing it on the entire lower lash line. To make my eyes appear larger, I'm taking Nichido Spot Concealer 
pencil and I'm using that to line my waterline. Then you know what's next to curl and apply your favorite mascara. So I'm curling my lashes and I'm using Heroin Makes Impact Volume and Curl Mascara. And this is actually my favorite mascara as of the moment. It has two sides, a lengthening and a volumizing side. So first, I use the lengthening side to my top and bottom lashes. And then I use the other side to volumize my top lashes. This is part of my favorites video, which I will link in the description below if you haven't seen that already. Ta-da! Vava Voom Lashes. See the difference? Now that the eyes is done, onto the face. As always, I contour. I'm using the e.l.f. bronzer right here. And it's very, very pigmented as you can see. And I accidentally put a lot on my cheeks, if you can see right there. So I'm taking my beauty blender once again and bounce and blend it properly so that it will become less obvious and it will look more natural. Now I'm using a blending brush right here to contour the sides of my nose. For blush, I'm using my new Maybelline Clear Smooth Blush in Fresh Coral. It's matte and it's also pigmented. Highlight my face, I'm using Etude House's Secret Beam just on the high points of my face and also on the bridge of my nose. Last is the lips. I got this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Laguna Beach because I love the muted color and it's also long wearing. It smells so good and it reminds me of NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream but this is more long wearing. So that's about it for this simple look. I hope that you like it. If you have other requests, please leave them in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already and like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All of the links are below in the information box. Bye!